Good day. This is Prophetess Wendy. Thank you so much for joining me. Today, we're going to be speaking to the newlyweds. I am so excited. This is part three. Uh, the title of the message today is to say to the newlyweds, call each other by sweet names. Hallelujah. Call each other by sweet names. Hallelujah. Someone says, Prophetess, is that scriptural? Hallelujah. So we just want to go to the book of Genesis. For those who always like to refer from the Bible, it speaks of a couple by the name of Abraham and Sarah. You know, in the book of Hebrews, it says that we must learn from the two because these uh, were the women and men of faith. Hallelujah. These were good example. If there is a couple that was romantic, that grow all together, it was these two. This is the couple that must inspire us. Anyway, the Bible says it is written for us to learn from it. So I really chose this couple and I really saw something that I really love from this couple. The Bible says, start with it from chapter 12. You know, it's good. Sometimes you find time to read about this wonderful couple. We read from the magazines that people who inspire us three days down the line that divorce when we're still trying to follow them. You you find out, oh, we're heartbroken. Something happened that makes the two to separate. But this one, I can confirm, they died all together. Listen to this. The Bible says, Sarah found a sweet name for Abraham. What was the sweet name for Sarah? She called Abraham her master. Hallelujah. Do you want to know why? Because Abraham was loaded. Hallelujah. <laughs> Abraham was loaded. So before you can call your partner by sweet name, you need to check the type of partner you have. Most people, you hear them calling uh, their partner babe. Hallelujah. It's a very beautiful name. But you need to understand, why am I calling him babe? Some men become childish in the process because a woman is calling them babe and they don't even know why they're being called babe. But babe is a sweet name to call the one that you love. But here the Bible teaches us that she chose a sweet name for Abraham, which was suitable for him. When I was studying the book of Genesis, I saw well, this woman was full of wisdom. She says, my master, hallelujah. It's like she worshipped him to say, my master, hallelujah. Even Abraham felt it. Hey, I'm, be I'm being loved here. I'm being respected. This woman is submissive, calling me her master, hallelujah. So you must find a name that is suitable for you. Don't just call your husband babe without understanding. If you ask most people, what do you call your partner babe? Say, I just heard from somebody calling them babe, and then I just followed. No, check. What is it that your husband is good at? Hallelujah. If you know some people call their partner chocolate. Sometimes if you're in public, you hear people laughing, hey, chocolate. <laughs> some they call their partner fat cook. Hallelujah. That is the name that they found suitable for their partner. So what are you calling your partner? partner now before the time when you were dating there was a name that you gave him so the one that you give him you, you are gonna give him in marriage it must be a name that does not change hallelujah it must stay like that the bible says that sarah died calling abraham her master hallelujah the, the name that you give your husband even when you are angry hallelujah some people when they're angry the name change it vanished to sweet air if the name is zachariah you know, you know, when you're happy, you call him Zach. Hi, baby Zach. Hi, baby Z. Then when you're angry, Zachary, Zachary, <laughs> the name changes. No. So what am I saying? Found the name that is suitable for your husband. Some people call their husband babe. Some people call their wife babe. Why? Because they saw my wife has got a baby heart. You know, whatever that I do, you know, she, she forgives very easily. Hallelujah. She forgives and forget. Some they are calling their partner lemonade. Hallelujah. That's how they feel about this partner. Someone like me, I call my husband my butler door. Hallelujah. Why? Because I feel safe in his presence. I feel safe in his company. I'm just kidding, but I call him... <laughs> I call him Mr. Malek because I saw my husband is very professional. If you have heard some of my videos, I have shared how professional my husband is. Hallelujah. <laughs> so I call him Master. And that is the name that is suitable for him. Whether I'm angry, whether I'm happy, the name does not change. So what am I teaching you? Find a name that is good for your husband. Find a name that is good for your wife. Don't copy. Because you'll come back home as a man. You want to call your wife. Go, fat cook. And then the, the woman becomes angry. Am I too fat now? And you heard someone calling uh, their partner fat cook. Hallelujah. 
Find the name that will make them happy. The name that will make them excited. Hallelujah. Only you can call that person with that name. Even the day when they die. The moment when you visit the graveyard, you get there and say, Faith Cook, you'll hear the ghost rising because you're the only one who can call them by that name. Hallelujah. <laughs> Most people love babies, a beautiful name. But imagine now I go to the mall and I'm standing on the escalator on top there and I begin to shout. My husband is downstairs and say, Babe! Hallelujah. <laughs> Most men are going to turn, but those ones that cheat, they are not going to turn. They're just going to walk forward. Is this the girl from last night? Is this the girl from last week? You'll find them moving. And not, they don't even want to look back. Hi, because everybody loves to use that name. So it's always good to find a specific name that you love as a woman, that you love as a man. What is it that you have loved? Maybe, maybe, maybe your husband, maybe, maybe she's so cold that you want to call her a cold name like I cream <laughs> hallelujah we're not gonna laugh that's the name that is suitable for your partner so what am i saying in marriage it's always nice when we call each other by those sweet names whether it's raining whether it's summer whether it's hot you know people must know this is what i call my husband and no one can match this and understand why do you call him she says she called abraham my master because why? He was loaded. Even when he's not loaded, say, say, my, say my foot, they say, in a place where a man does not have anything, what do you call that man? Hallelujah. <laughs> do you call him the father of the children or the poor man of God? Hallelujah. No, that's not what you use. You speak by faith. What do you see when you see your man? What do you desire to see? Sometimes give him an inspiring name. You know, sometimes I call my husband. I remember this other day. I call him, come, 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 quick. Come see your colleagues. And my husband was like, my colleagues, from where? And these were people from London. You know, it was looking there, there was no black person there. And I said, but my husband's look, and these colleagues from where? I said, You wanted to, you want to be a professor. These are professors from London. And my husband was like, Okay. <laughs> Why? Because I sometimes call him professor because that's what he desires to be. Hallelujah. When I'm excited and want to talk about something else, I call him professor because he desires to be like that. So there are names that you can give by faith. Hallelujah. Even if he doesn't have a car, don't say the poor man of God. Eesh. Hey, the poor man of God. No, no, no. Give him a name. You know, words are powerful. If you see my husband is struggling, even when he's struggling, give him that name that will uplift his spirit. Can you imagine calling someone who my rich has, my, my rich HSB? Hallelujah. My RHSB. Hallelujah. If you don't want people to follow you and ask you a lot of questions. Hallelujah. <laughs> so, what am I saying? Find a suitable name that is suitable for you and your partner. It's always it's nice, you know. I like it when the papa has got so many names for me, you know. Sometimes he calls me mama, depending on the mood. <laughs> I know once I hear mama, I can even ask for 2000 uh, that during that time, during that moment, because he's excited. Hallelujah. There's a moment where he calls me babe. Hallelujah. There are sweet names. Even in the bedroom, there are sweet names that he gives me. What am I saying? But there must be that one specific type of name where you have sat down as a man, as a woman. He said, Prophet, because now I'm not poetic, you know, and this thing of sweet name. What, what, what if I call her by name? Is there something wrong? Is it going to change the marriage? No, we are just saying some of the things that makes the marriage to be romantic. It's when we call each other by those sweet names, you know, to be appreciated. Imagine you call me Angel, Angelina, hey, or my angel. Ah, I will walk like an angel. That day in the kitchen hallelujah everything you just see even when i walk i feel like i'm an angel because i'm your angel hallelujah <laughs> so what am i saying let us find those sweet names even when we're growing older let us not change let us learn from sarah and abraham to give each other name so why did abraham call sarah he called her wifey hallelujah <laughs> you tell her my wife don't tell them you're my wife you know, don't tell them about my wife. So I don't remember the one for Abraham, but I remember he used to call her wife. There are people who are called wifey because you are a trophy wife. I don't be offended and say, call me sweet thing. Call me lemonade. Because uh, uh, Sarah's husband call her lemonade. He has a reason why he's calling her lemonade. Hallelujah. <laughs> Maybe she becomes sour in the process and he likes it when it's sour. Maybe he's a man who enjoys sour things and that is coming from the mouth of the wife. So we don't understand. But what am I saying? Let's not copy from others it's good to copy and paste but copy with understanding call each other by sweet names i love you enjoy the rest of your day